The abbot of the Glinsk Monastery, Venerable Seraphim Amelin, was the personification of calm and peace. And at the same time, he was an attentive and vigilant spiritual father. Nothing which required his pastoral attention and guidance escaped him. Father Seraphim increased his asceticism while he was abbot of the monastery, devoting himself with great self-denial and praying with tears for the restoration of the monastery to its former glory. He became abbot at 69 years old, when he had already been blessed with many considerable spiritual gifts. Throughout his life of asceticism, Elder Seraphim loved silence as he practiced the Jesus prayer which is incompatible with idle talk. Through this internal effort, he reached a state of spiritual silence and angelic dispassion. Selflessly devoted to the good of the monastery and the salvation of the souls in his care, the elder remained calm and composed, despite his many difficult responsibilities as an abbot. He never became flustered or annoyed. Possessing wisdom and good judgment, despite his many cares, the elder lived like a hermit, persisting in the prayer of the heart. His ceaseless, inspired prayer invisibly protected the brotherhood from all the wiles of the enemy. Through this constant internal struggle, self-effacement, sorrows and every type of trial, Elder Seraphim received the great gift of love for God and for his neighbour, which blazed in his soul like a flame. He treated the brothers like his own children. He would converse with them on occasion. Out of his love for them, and only about working on one's mind and heart. He taught the brothers to live in piety, not to seek their own will, but to show complete obedience. He would instruct the brothers with few words, clearly and to the point. His words were greatly edifying and always hit their mark. For Father Seraphim's mind, enlightened by grace, could see God's truth clearly. He loved this truth with all his soul, and when he expressed it, his words spoke to the heart of the listener and were always impactful and bore fruit. The elder possessed the gift of perfect foresight, seeing into the deepest recesses of the human heart. Those who came to visit him could clearly see that all of their thoughts and feelings were known to him without a word. When, at the end of his life, the elder was ill and it was difficult for him to speak, for the sake of his holy prayers, many people who merely came to his cell, without a word being uttered, received gifts of grace and left comforted and with healing in their souls. Those who came to see him during his illness reassured his cell attendant that they wouldn't say a word or disturb the abbot with questions, but simply wished to be near the grace-filled elder for a short while. In his presence, everything vain, unnecessary, and superfluous seemed to dissipate. A person would become their true self, receiving the rare ability to see themselves from the outside as they actually were. They became aware of their sins and involuntarily came to true repentance. When the elder would meekly say a few words of benefit for their souls, they would cherish them as a priceless treasure for their whole lives, giving thanks to God be continued. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.